there is a human being behind all of those tubes and you know gadgets there is a human being and that is important the AIDS epidemic said the headlines some doctors believe that 50 percent of the gay population is walking around with the AIDS virus. Nowhere is the problem more severe than at San Francisco Generals. At least 15,000 men are expected to die in the next four years. People were baffled, and it was a mystery what this lethal thing was. And so responses and, and, and protocols varied very much across hospitals. Five B was the first uh, place in the world, as far as we know, that um, that focused on people with AIDS. We combined that with the with the approach we had in hospice of human touch and and recognizing that there is a human being behind all of those tubes and you know gadgets. There is a human being. horror stories that I could go on and on about, about people not getting their rooms cleaned, um, people not having nursing coming into their room, and people standing against the wall not wanting to talk to them. The spacesuits actually originally came into existence to protect patients who were very severely immunocompromised. And then in some hospitals, it got turned around because healthcare providers were so scared that they wanted to wear them for their protection. best word in the hospital and it's probably the best word in the nation. Uh, like I said, the, the nurses are all uh, volunteer assignments and you get that feeling you know they want to be here to help people and particularly AIDS patients. People need human contact and if, they, if, if they're not accepted in society, if they're not accepted in their family um, and they're sick, then there's nurses, there's volunteers. It's not the biological family, it's the logical family. And that, that's what we saw happen. Steve is my husband and uh, the love of my life. And one morning he, um, we woke up and Steve could, couldn't get out of bed, he couldn't use his legs. I was taken to the emergency room and they did all types of tests on me because they were afraid that I had cancer and it turned out it was HIV. I was uh, angry, actually, that, um, that HIV had come so close because I've been working in, in it a number of years and I, I somehow felt like, like I was entitled to like a reprieve or something like that, which is, of course is nonsense. It doesn't work that way. Uh, 5A was a wonderful place uh, to rehabilitate yourself. Um, the nurses there took such excellent care of me, and I, 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 I just cannot thank them enough for the work that they did. Don't wait. Don't wait for a leader. Don't wait for somebody to show you the way. Uh, don't wait for the right presidential candidate to show up. Don't, you know. No, it's, it's, it's you. It's you and me, it's, it's right now, it's right here. You are as prepared as you need to be.